Salutations, Internet. I'm Eli Voss, and welcome back to another episode of Getting Over It. It is like 1.30 a.m. where I am recording right now. My roommates are asleep, or at least doing their own thing. So, I figured it'd be a great time to do another extremely chill playthrough of Getting Over It. As usual, I'm just going to make sure that this is recording properly. Wonderful. I'm only going to do this for about 10-15 minutes at a time, especially if I'm not making any progress. I don't want to be wasting your time. So, uh, let's get back to it. Oh, oh, oh boy. Whoa. Let's, that's a great way to start off, of course, nearly tossing myself all the way back down to the start. So, since the last episode, I've had, uh, some interesting events happen. Um, today I had a very drunk, uh, 40-year-old woman grind up against me at work because I asked her to, uh, watch out because I had to put my hand on the on the elevator console, and she took that as uh, me coming on to her. So that was a thing that happened. Um, a week ago, um, the elevator I was in at the where I live uh, went up to where I live and then dropped all the way down to the lowest level it can go. Thankfully, it didn't drop fast enough to cause any injuries when we hit the bottom. There was myself and another all very drunk uh, gentleman. Um. Hello, are you stuck? Yes, yes, you are. There you go. There you go. Oh. So... Uh, I learned that, unlike at my work, because as you may know, I do work at the CN Tower, Tallest Tower, on this side of the world, etc., etc., um, unlike at work, when something goes wrong and we call, we press the uh, button on the elevator, we call our security department, who has control of uh, the systems of the elevator, and they can stop the elevator if necessary, or they'll give us updates on what's going on. As I found out, in most commercial elevators, that is not the case. The call is actually routed to a call center, and if it's in movement, the line may not be very uh, stable, to say the least. Uh, well, Tarkovsky, that's a bit of a lie. Um, so yes, as we continued to drop down further and further, all the... Well, it's not, it's not this person's fault, of course. They're just doing their job. Um, but hearing... I see the elevators moving. Is it working now? As I'm screaming at them to please engage the emergency brakes was not exactly the greatest experience one could have. Uh, at this point, I would like to mention that I actually have a horrible fear of dying in an elevator. That's been one of my biggest fears since I was a small child. So it's a little as, as funny as it is that I do work in elevators all day and go up and down, you know, over a hundred floors in 58 seconds. The difference between that is that I know the safety specs for that elevator. This one, well... I don't trust it as little as I did before. I trust it even less now. So there's that. Um, what else has happened since I last released a video? I haven't really done a, like my life right now or anything. It's kind of what these Let's Plays are going to be. Um, Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. I believe in me. Believe in the me that believes in you. Who the hell do you think we are? Um, oh, my DVDs for Garo, uh, the official 
uh, release, international release for the first season of Garo, which aired in 2005, came in. Uh, it was released in the States in December, November, I think both of them were available, but for whatever reason here in Canada, it still took them more time to uh, be released than available, but I'm just happy that I was able to uh, actually contribute to in the sales of it, uh, rather than just, you know, getting it through one of the, the subbing sites, which I had done before. I believe I'd got it through over time. Now, Garo is a tokusatsu series. Uh, for those of you who may not know, it was more, much more mature. Uh, it was aimed at, you know, people watching late at night, teen, like older teenagers, uh, young adults. Um, it this, it follows the story of the Maka, Makai Knights, um, um, who are specialized warriors who go on who uh, aim to defeat the. Yes, I'm talking about. Yes, I'm talking about Garo. Sorry, um, my roommate just opened their door and gave me a huge thumbs up that I'm talking about Garo on the on the stream. Um, oh, nope, 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 nope. Why would you do that? Ooh. Goodness gracious. Anyway, uh, it follows the story of the Makai Knights, who are people with access to these uh, magically created suits of armor. Um, basically, they go on to fight the demons or horrors that are created by humanity's negative energy. Um, I do enjoy that series. I do need to get back into it. There's been a lot more that's been released since the original series came out in 2005. Um, I didn't watch it back then. I had no idea it existed. Um, I, but I started watching it a couple years ago when I started watching Kamen Rider. Um, uh, but now there's like a couple seasons of an a uh, Garo anime that some of you may have uh, seen. Um, but yeah, there I do have I do have some issues with it. Like it is a little uh, what's going on? Innately, I want to say like a little innately sexist. Like I'm I'm not Japanese. I cannot comment on their uh, society. Oh fuck. Oh no. But um. Yeah, the fact, like, the fact that it's it's outright stated that the reason uh, that only men are the able to use the armor is because, oh, for fuck's sakes, the horrors are created with um, yang energy, I believe, which is supposed to be the more feminine of the two. So because they're comprised of more female energy, therefore they're closer to the demons and blah, 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 blah. It's... I don't like that bit. Uh, women are not excluded from this. They are, there are actually quite a few super fucking badass ladies um, in the series. They are Makai priests. They wield the magic energy even though they uh, do not use the armor to destroy the horrors themselves. Uh, they are extremely competent ass-kicking ladies. Um, the series does have a little bit of uh, TNA. They're in fact, the first, like, th couple minutes of the first episode of the first series, uh, one of the demons takes on the form of a half-naked woman. So, you know, there's that. Showing where the audience they were trying to get for... Uh, for this show. But uh, I do still enjoy the series. Ooh, I'm not moving my mouse. Stop that, please. Thank you. Um, oh, and now you're sliding that way. Please, no. Don't do that. Thanks. If you could just nod, that'd be great. Thank Stop that. Um, so there's that.
God, I hate that bell. I think I talked about that last episode, but can you hear that bell going off? It drives me absolutely bonkers. just not enough but I got a little you know 10 minutes that's 10 minutes for a little haha brilliant look at that look at us go 10 minutes for a little bit of progress I'll take that I will take that let's see if we can just just get a little higher up before we finish this off that of course could be my downfall let's Nope, there I go. However, I did get higher, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end the episode a little once I get back there, I guess. It's nice knowing that I can actually make progress, that I'm not like completely terrible at this game. <laughs> I don't want to leave the episode off where I began. I do hope that that does not end up being my downfall and I end the episode further back. I may actually, if I'm doing well, I may record a little, I may record the another episode right after this, I will not. Well, I will not uh, publish it right away. But this way, I actually have like a buffer of like a single episode, so I can release it in a week's time or something. Um, but I, of course, I don't know what what I'd talk about at that point. Maybe just things. There, there is another game I'm going to play after this. Um, Yeah, now that I've now that I've gotten a little progress now now everything comes unraveled but that's okay well I know I know what I'll talk about I know what I'll do in the next one we will get a little for why did it why did it attach there normally it doesn't normally it slides down that was weird but yeah, I know what I'll talk about when I play this next Ooh. got to send my mouse like flying off it's my little mouse pad what what was that i did not make that noise okay that was weird unless i'm just hearing things and in the recording you're all like what what are, what are they talking about what's Eli talking about it sounded like a little woo I do hope that I don't have any audio problems with this episode. I did go through and fix the problem with the last episode. Uh, the issue was that my computer had set the stop that had set the input to only be thirty percent, so it didn't matter how loud I made it in the recording software. It was still only set to. 30% of the input volume, so. But I fixed that, so now even though I am just whispering, you should be able to hear me just fine. Come on. This part is easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What? And now it's just not doing things that it used to do. Obviously, I am not. Obviously, I'm doing something different. Huh. What? What is. Why is the. All of a sudden, my sensitivity seems different. It's not, though. It shouldn't be. There's no reason for it to be. I haven't changed any settings. No, sensitivity is right where I left it. That's 
Okay, then. Even though it wasn't changed, it was? That's just super bizarre. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe we will end it here. <laughs> um, at least it's slightly different than before. So yeah, we know we can make some progress. And uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to continue to play a little bit. I will record another episode so that there's a bit of a... You know, I don't have to worry about not producing any content. I still haven't fixed the problem with my phone. So uh, we'll see when the next... Uh, new LARPers guide video comes out hopefully it'll be soon but thank you all for joining me I hope you've all had a lovely morning afternoon or night where whatever time it is that you're listening and I hope that you continue to have a more lovely morning afternoon or night I'll see you all in the next one